Welcome to Policy on Demand. I'm Yoni Guther. We're filming at PwC's sixth annual international tax conference. And with me today is Monica Cohen Domani to discuss recent EU developments. Welcome, Monica. Thank you, Yoni. So, Monica, today we wanted to use our brief time here to discuss two developments in the EU that may impact uh, our audience. So, we want to focus on the FSR, the Foreign Subsidy Regulation, and the New Green Deal. So, starting with the FSR. Um, that was adopted by the European Council at the end of 2021. And um, as I understand it, it's meant to level the playing field with respect to EU state aid. So what does that mean uh, specifically? Can you explain it in a little bit more detail? Yeah, absolutely. It uh, really does extend the reach of the European state aid rules to anyone outside of the EU. It's an extraterritorial application of the EU state aid rules. And uh, what they want to ensure is that any kind of benefit that arises to a beneficiary um, that could distort the internal market within the EU, um, you know, that there is a level playing field. So basically that, that benefit goes away or is somehow equalized. <clears throat> and they do have the possibility to do this through various measures. Um, one, they can prevent a transaction um, from an m and perspective. They can as well um, ask that certain assets or parts of the business uh, are outside of a transaction. They can as well put in additional rules or, or obligations or prevent a company for, from participating in a public tender, for instance. So there are a lot of different things that they can do. It's a very broad, um, rule and regulation that covers not just tax, but a whole host of other things as well, whether it's guarantees, loans, grants, um, all sorts of things really. So definitely worthwhile having a look at it. Yeah, that sounds that the rules are have a very broad scope. And um, I was also understanding that there's a reporting requirements and there could be significant penalties as well. Absolutely. So actually you need to you need to report. Reporting requirements will be live as of September this year. Um, and if you do not report what you're supposed to report or uh, report wrong information, the maximum penalty could go up to 10% of the annual global turnover. Wow, that's that's significant. Indeed. So what are companies now doing now to get ready for this? Well, I think for the time being, not very much. So it's a regulation that has not made a whole lot of noise for the time being. Um, but I can only recommend that uh, if you are planning on a transaction or um, participating in public tenders, definitely, but not just, look at uh, your situation. Did you receive any kind of benefits that could be considered as a foreign subsidy based on those regulations? And it's a mix of tax and competition law and and uh, as well economy so you need to you need to actually be able to have some economists also doing some analysis okay so maybe let's switch now to the new green deal um, those that package was um, agreed many years ago or a few years ago I should say so why are we talking about this now well because it's a long haul project and it's really a mammoth set of rules that are kicking in. And it's impossible for everyone just to go about it and say, uh, I'm just coming in and everything is, is done, right? The companies have started doing things. Um, the, the rules are incredibly complex, they're incredibly broad. So it's really no surprise that only now things start moving. And um, I think though there will be an acceleration in, in this respect, as rules start coming live, reporting is coming live as well, and you know a whole host of new taxes are kicking in. Yeah, and this really can impact companies, obviously from a profitability margin perspective, um, and also how they structure it operationally as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, in order to achieve the policy goal, the EU has really to main um, drivers, I would say, right? Carrot and stick, carrot being incentives, stick being taxes. So they have over a thousand new taxes that are in the course of being introduced, that it will be introduced shortly. 
and they are all above the line. So it really goes against the margin and this is where it's supposed to hurt as well. Thank you, Monica. And thank you everyone for listening. We're looking forward to seeing you soon.